Welcome everyone. It is Friday. What month is it? May the 12th. <laughs> we have posted up. Oh, you can't see it. Battleship Rock. We're in the Valley of the Gods, Southern Utah. I miss the sea. How you doing this morning? She's out here finding shade and reading a little bit. Bruno's just being Bruno. <laughs> I got my strap on this morning. That didn't sound right. <laughs> I've got my camera holster on this morning <clears throat> that I'm gonna wear. We're gonna do a, we're gonna, I'm gonna wander aimlessly through the desert for a little while. I've got nothing better to do. I got my big old hat, keep the sun off my head. And uh, I'm just gonna go wander around Battleship Rock and see what I can see. Strap y'all to my chest and we'll uh, see what happens. Y'all come along. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Not sure why Mr. C is laughing. I, I, I'm holding this, y'all, because I thought I only had it set on one minute. That was a, that was a blooper, but I'll leave it in. How's that? Anyway, <clears throat> Mr. C, you gonna miss me? Yes. You are not. <laughs> I'm <laughs> you, you enjoy your peace and quiet time, and your reading time, and your Bruno time. Anyway, I'm gonna take this off the the little handheld and strap it to my chest, and uh, we're gonna head off into the desert, y'all, and see what kind of trouble we get into. You gonna be all right? All right. <laughs> we'll see y'all in a few from the other side. Bye. All right, Mr. C, do I look like a professional? You do. <laughs> all right. She says I look like a professional, y'all, so we're gonna head off into the desert. I got my trusty water bottle. Good. I got my purple stick. We're good. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. All right, I'll see y'all after a while. We're just gonna wander around out here. See, which way do I want to go? Let's go this way. I'm aware of the bonds that were created today. When you told me that sure there's a way. So this is Battleship Rock. It is one of multiple rock formations that have been named out here at Valley of the Gods. I'm going to try and get as close to Battleship Rock as I can.
try and go up that. I do not know what these are, but they are extremely odoriferous. They smell good, they smell like a jasmine. Not sure if they're some kind of chokeberry or if they are some kind of jasmine or, but they are beautiful and they smell amazing. And as always, <clears throat> try to keep my eyes open for reptiles of the venomous kind. I think we might try to get up over here. We might try to get up right through there. See what that looks like. I'll go up around this way so I don't step off that ledge into something I don't want to step off into. Hmm. I'll try to climb up right over here. Pretty easy. And be careful about that stuff right there. It'll crumble right under you. Crumble right under you. And I don't want that. Not for me, but I just don't want to do it to the landscape. Try to keep on semi-solid surfaces. Battleship Rock, y'all. There's lots of animal tracks out here. I'm not sure. A lot of livestock, probably free range. These little purple flowers, I think y'all see them up there. Those are everywhere too. And their leaves stick to your britches. I'm not sure what they are. Probably I'll look some of this stuff up, make sure I'm not. <laughs> but if you do get too close, the leaves will reach over and grab you and love on your pants leg. Just saying. Yeah. We go up this way. I don't think you can cut through those. I'm going to try and get over there. Kind of get a look-see down the middle. Go walk around the lower elevation way. Looks a little bit easier. Less complicated. <laughs> There's a little round squirrel running around in there. I don't know if you saw it or not. That's the first rodent I've seen. I do need to check the truck today. Fire it up and open the engine compartment. It's one of the things about the desert. You gotta be leery of critters making homes in your engine bay and chewing up the wiring. We had one when we had our van that happened to us in Vita Vu, Wyoming. No, you cannot go through those two. It is one big, happy mountain.
Battleship Rock. Go over there, stop, check in, get a drink. Check in again, get a drink. I see we got, I don't know what this, of course in the desert that could be six months old and look fresh if it hasn't rained, so that's the thing. As soon as it rains, it'll all disappear and it'll start again. There was a camper down here. I don't know. They, they must either, they either broke down crazy fast or they're behind a hill up there that I can't see. <clears throat> camper, 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 camper. We'll do some video on the way out. But this place, y'all, I mean, this is probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. I've seen videos, and y'all have seen videos, and I've seen pictures, and y'all have seen pictures. They don't do it justice. It is amazing. So I think I'm gonna try and take the high road going back. I'm gonna go up, try to go along the bottom of the battleship rock. All right, so as much as I want to keep going, I'm going to turn it around and head on back. But anyway, I just want to come out here a little bit, do some aimless wandering through the desert, Battleship Rock, kind of give you all a, a look at what walking through this desert out here is like. It is fantastic. But right now, let's go back. It's almost lunchtime. Mrs. C's going to be wanting to cook something up. She'll be getting hungry soon. All right, y'all, let's go. We'll try to find a different path back. So it won't all look the same. Let's go up there. Let's go up and try to go up along the top of the, off, off, uh, along the bottom of the battleship rock. <clears throat> a little less talking maybe, right? I'm not wandering around drunk either, y'all. I'm dodging foliage, flowers. You know, probably gonna get some shadow going back. You'll see my, you'll see my big sombrero. So it's not a sombrero. It's just a big old hat to keep the sun off of me. Which I also recommend if you're hanging out in the desert. We got a couple of washes to go through, it looks like. They try to go around the top of them. Let's see if we can do that.
So at some point, <laughs> Wile E. Coyote was here because these were probably up there. And there's probably a road runner running around down here laughing somewhere. But anyway, I'm just saying, I don't mind the cairns for trail markers, but just random rock stacking for the heck of it. It's kind of frustrating. Oh, this one may have a geocache in it. Let's just see. Ah, this is a memorial. Let's take a gander real quick, see what we got. Press on, y'all. Head on back to Bart and Arnie in Mississippi and make sure she's all right. That's pretty new. We're right here, biggest spot for a tent. <laughs> Anyway, we should be coming up over the top of this, the end of this here in a minute. Battleship Rock, Valley of the Gods, Southern Utah, highly recommend. If you haven't been, then bring it on. If you have been, you know what I'm talking about. Bring it on again. I think these little dudes are everywhere. I'm not step on them. <laughs> I may be up here higher than I think I am. I come over the top of this. It may be a little more tricky getting down than I was expecting. But you know what? That's okay. Ouch. I didn't miss that little shrub, y'all. Sorry. I snagged my toe and it hurt. Man. There's that beastie boy. He may have been uh, doing a little more ascending than I thought I was doing. <clears throat> Let's go see what we got going on down there. Can I see a lizard. There, but there he is. These little boogies, these little lizards here are fast. Oh my goodness, they're fast, crazy fast. I tell you, they, they get up on them back leg or get up on them legs, they raise up about two inches off the ground when they're running. All right, we're on this rock, see if we can find a way down. I can do some of it down through there. Man, it's beautiful out here. White van out there. There's another really big spot right up there. I'm surprised nobody's taking it yet. Of course, it's early in the day still. After lunch, they'll start rolling in. We are, we travel slower than most people. We'll park up for four or five days at a time because that's what we like to do. We like to enjoy where we're at for a few days. Wind down, relax. Semi get to know where we're at. 
Plus it saves fuel, saves wear and tear on the rig. Cause we don't travel long distances. I mean, we'll travel, oh crud, I don't know, maybe 150, 200 miles a day, a trip when we go from one place to another. It's really not far. Four or five hours of driving and we're done. And we'll park for three or four or five more days. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm about to come off to a ledge here. Well, maybe not. Kind of a steep, uh, steep uh, descent, but it's okay. It's doable. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Yep, she got the canopy out. Found her a place under it for some shade. She's all over. She's funny. She looks like she's fine. I think I see her. She probably got her lounge chair laid out underneath the awning. And I'm worried about nothing. I think we're almost back now, y'all. All right. see some of those yucca flowers will steps <laughs> steps not really I have to be careful about these steps because they have some of the bottoms of them you know watch out I'm almost gonna jump out of there at me. I'm aware of the box that were created today. When you told me that sure there's a way.
We are back, and I see that Mrs. C has managed the unmanageable. You made you some shade. <laughs> You're pretty happy about that, aren't you? That's awesome. All right, y'all. We're gonna call that it there, Bruno and Mrs. C, into their shade. That woman, I swear, my wife's a genius. Anyway, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Show a stray dog some pills.